I know it's Tuesday and you don't usually have art with Miss Keller on Tuesday, but you do today. I came into the studio to gather up some supplies and I thought, why not? I mean, I'm here, so I'm not with anybody else but you. So thanks for coming in and hanging out with me and let's do some art. So today, um, oh, you hear the music? Yes, my neighbor George Becca, he belongs to a group, and I think they're called the Purple Martins, and so there's a little music going on in the back, and um, he's hilarious, he's just wonderful, he has enough glitter, and he's called Purple Martin, his band is called Purple Martin, and these are the people that are on it. I'm so exciting to have him let me play his music for us today and uh, so it'll be in the background if it's distracting I'll turn it down probably just a little bit so that you can be sure and hear me we're going to do pastels some people call it chalk if you don't have pastels don't worry just get you some chalk it can be your sidewalk chalk it can be the chalk that's in that drawer. You know, everybody has one of those drawers. I have several. I do. And we just get those chalks like, I don't know, like this. Just a box of chalk with whatever you've got in there. And that's what we're going to work with today. I have the fancy stuff because, hello, I'm an artist. And I'm an art teacher. And I have stuff. I have lots of stuff. If you need some stuff, you let me know. Stacy, I said uh, the Purple Martins are playing. Yay for us. And um, so we're going to do some chalk pastels. This is my pastel box. If you note the price, it's a little scary. $24.99 for this box. It goes a long, long way. They are um, really a good product. They're a little more hardy. I am going to turn down my Purple Martins just a tad. Just a tad. Just a tad. But at least they're playing. Remember, I was complaining because I didn't have any music because I had to do copyrights. And you know what I'm knowing? I might have to slip away a minute and turn on the fan because these lights that I have um, decided to use make it hot. Look at me. I'm... I might be just having one of those 57-year-old personal summers. Oh, girlfriends, if you're watching. Mm -mm. Personal summers are just too much for me. Too much for me. Anyway, let's talk about pastels. Pastels um, out of a box like this have a really high purity, meaning that they're going to lay the color down darker. They're going to lay the color down better. They're going to subtly, subtly, good art word there, subtle, subtly blend, and they allow layering. They're water soluble. Ooh, I don't think I said that right. Water soluble. That's like aluminum and Schlotzky's. Who can say that? I can now, but soluble. There it is. There it is. Soluble. Okay, so water soluble means you can mix them with water. I'll show you that too in just a little bit. But um, the fancy kind, you can get any brand that you want to. I kind of shy away from some of those rosy brands, but um, you can get what you need. Of course, the price is going to dictate how fancy they are. The higher ones cost more money. Hello, that's the way it works. Okay, I find even though your Dollar Tree or your extra super cheap ones will work just as great. Now here's how we want to start. Now you've got construction paper at home. You get construction paper or any kind of paper that you have. I'm going to turn it just a little bit so you can stop seeing less of me and more of what we're going to do today. Isn't that great? Okay, here we go. We're going to hook in just a little bit. All right, now I'm loving it. And I may do it one more time. You know, when we have been learning how to do this online things, everything is at a big giant curve. 
we've got a big learning curve. If you are watching this as a student, I want you to find your teacher, probably the person at your house. Find that teacher and tell them thank you because this is difficult for everyone. I got to thinking back to what it was like when I was teaching and you know you're in a classroom with a bunch of people and you're they're hoping that you're doing it right and uh, your parents are doing they're doing the best they can with what they've got let's give them a little bonus whoop whoop hey Joan I'm glad you're watching and Ashley Kennedy yay y'all are watching all right so we're gonna do these pastel so I've got pastel paper again that's another one of those luxuries that people like me have because we have supplies everywhere and it, it says pastel me tienes I don't know if I pronounced that right Canson paper and it is um, dual surface means one side is textured and one side is soft we're going to use the softer side for this so if you look at your paper find the softer side this has a little texture this has a little softer and we I'm going to today use the softer side the side that's smooth we're headed for this piece right back here I don't know if you can see it or not let's turn that camera just a little bit right there we're kind of headed for that piece now when we do abstract abstract means it doesn't have to be anything it can be but it doesn't have to be so if you've got your kiddos ready, and I've got a marker to begin with, that's how I'm going to start this abstract. That, you might say, is an alien. You might see a shark. You might see a nose and an eye and some crazy hair eating a licorice jelly bean. Or then again, you might see a mountain being brushed over with water or maybe it's just a pond with some rows of garden and that's the moon whatever you see is fine because in an abstract piece you don't have to have anything particularly be anything it can just be and every one of us gets to make it into whatever we want it to be so I'm going to start somewhere, and I'm going to draw a circle. Now, how big should your circle be? I don't know. What if you get it out of line? Mm, today, let's not worry about it. Let's still stick in that let it go, let it go that we've been doing. All right? So then I want you to draw five more lines. Five more. Possibly six, but at least five. And when you draw those lines, I want you to go from one side of the paper to another. Doesn't have to be all the way across, but it can be. They could be wavy lines because some lines are curved and some lines are zigzaggy. Let's see. One, two, we need three more because we've used up two let's make one over here let's so one two three and this we're not counting this one today four but we could but we're not and then let's do this one right here that's all and then let's do one more Maybe even a repetition piece. Oh, I like that. I do. I feel like I've got some heaviness over here in geometric shapes, and I've got some organic shapes up here. Possibly I need to put an organic shape on this side. What do I mean by organic? Doesn't have to be angular. This one has angles in it. Let's put one more angle right up here. Look, let's let it stop and come out the other side. And before it touches craziness, let's go back up. Now, how many do we have there? I like that. But I need an organic shape down here so that I get this balance. When you're looking at your composition, you're looking for balance. By the way, someone may say to me, um, what age is this today? You know what? It's pretty much every age. That's, you know, a Tuesday bonus 
art lesson is um, going to be just a, you know, we'll just call it a bonus. It's for everybody. Now, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of that. That's a lot more lines than I did here. If you've got younger kiddos, don't do as many. But I like that. <clears throat> I have a tickle. Everybody panic. I'm kidding. Please don't. Now, I do like to start with black and white, black and white. So I am going to start with black and white. Prote potentially, you don't have a black or a white. So maybe use a gray. Okay. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to kind of take my chalk and it is going to make dust. Protect the surface that you're at. I'm kind of coloring it in almost, if you will. The more I color in, and I'm going about halfway here, then I'm going to use my darker. I'm going to leave a little space kind of in between. I can always come back and add some more. I can. Add some more. Oh, that is good. That is good. Here we go. Okay. Now, you have an option. You can blow. And all the dust flies everywhere. Or you can just take it and kind of tap it. Look how it rubs down here. That's because I'm on a uh, angle. I'm on an angle over here. Now, you can use your finger to scrub and rub and do all that stuff that you want to do with the pastels or you can use a q-tip if you don't have a q-tip um, use your finger it's nothing wrong with using your finger other than your finger has oil on it all right so i'm just rubbing that in i'm going to come up here and get some of that Ooh, look how that beautiful oh isn't that nice I don't really want to start in the darkest spot. I'm headed to the darkest spot, to my shade up in here. And then I can rub that inside. Sometimes I go in vertical or horizontal lines, and sometimes I like to do this little thing called circularism. Do you have to stay like that? No. Look, isn't that pretty? And pastels are just all about smoothing out and rubbing in and blending. Okay, we can hit that again. Isn't that fun? That's a beautiful one. Now, what I want to do in each one of these sections, almost like a puzzle piece, is I want to change the color, probably. Let's try this one here and let's use this one with a pink and a yellow. Why did I choose pink and yellow? Because my inner artist said, choose pink and yellow. No other reason. I like them today. Those were the two that are working for my brain. And I accept what my heart is saying. Accept it. Fight it if you need to. But today, my heart is saying pink and yellow. Do you see how I've left some peekaboos? If you paint with me, you know that my peekaboo rule is you get rid of them. Well, guess when we're going to get rid of those peekaboo rules? Yeah, we're going to get rid of that peekaboo later. Now, if you're using the chalk from the dollar store, it's going to be lighter. I'm going to use some of that here in just a minute. This is the good stuff. Um... Some folks said they're ordering things online and they're having luck, and some folks said they're not. We're just going to have to handle it. All right, now I've got the dirty Q-tip. Can you see the dirty Q-tip? And when I go back over here, can you all see that? Am I going to have to scoot it? I am a little bit. All right, so then I'm going to come right up in here, and I've got the dirty Q-tip. If it makes a transfer of the color, get a new Q-tip. Or use your finger if you don't have Q-tips. What are some other things you could use instead? You could use a paint brush. And then in between each one of these, you have to dry it out or allow it to be wet. 
Remember when I said that artists are scientists? They play that what would happen if. And sometimes you need a control group. You need a practice page, basically. Ooh, I'm liking that. And then I'm going to come up here, and here's my orange happening when I got the salmon color going on between. Can y'all see that? Isn't that pretty? I hope y'all can see that. I have a, I have a, a glare. Are y'all getting a glare? Somebody tell me down in there if you're still watching. Are you getting a glare? Is that better? Or is that worse? Wee! Don't fall down. And um, so then I'm going to come back up in here. And I'm going to rub in this section. I love it. I love it. I'm only going to do this part right here. I'm going to leave this part for another time. And you'll have to tune in and see if I finished it or if I got tired. Tired happens. This is just a piece of chalk. If they're big, I like to break them in half. Number one, it's very satisfying to break chalk. This is a regular dollar store chalk right here that I'm using. You can tell the difference. You can kind of hear the difference. But then I'm going to get a next door neighbor from my color wheel. That's a green. So I could either go with a blue or I could go with a yellow from the color wheel. So I could do either a little more yellow or I could do a little more blue. That yellow is almost the same color as my original piece of paper. Typically pastels are done on colored paper. I could use this same one which would transfer color but I think I'm going to use a lighter one. A newer one and I'm going to come in here and I'm just letting that pastel color hmm, who knew pastel color come across and do you see all that chalk dust watch it transfers down maybe you like that maybe you do maybe you don't so that is the um, piece. Oh, I kind of like that stripe. If you don't like that stripe and you're going, oh, get out of there, stripe. You just kind of rub that again. Chalk makes a lot of dust. It just does. That's just the way it is. Do you have to put two colors in each space? Absolutely not. In that one, in our original one, uh, there is a green space in there that is just solid green so let's make one that's just solid you can also come back and layer on another color on top of it here i'll show you what to do with a paintbrush this one's dry so then i'm just kind of rubbing it with the paintbrush i get right up in those little spaces it makes another design you are actually taking the tooth of the paper. What? Paper has teeth? Yeah, it kind of does. That's what we call it. It's got like a texture to it. Let's see. Watch what happens when you blow. This could be fun. Ready? Woo! No, it goes everywhere. So don't do it in your house. For heaven's sakes. For heaven's sakes. Thank you, Joan, for telling me it's good. I appreciate that. All right, so now, here we are. I have to. Personal summer. I'm just saying. So I'm going to go turn on my fan. I'm trying not to use all the electricity here. You know, you catch up for me. Do one or two, because I work fast. I'm headed for the fan. <coughs> Purple Martins are on. If you want a CD, let me know. I'm sure George will hook you up. Did you see it blow? Whoop, I'm back. All right. So now, oh, thank goodness, there's a little breeze. So I've got the blue going on. I'm keeping those pastel colors. We usually, when we think of pastel, we think of uh, very muted or light colors. But you can get dark. Go to the dark side, potentially. 
I'm going to put some orange here. If you color in the whole thing and you keep the factor of, you keep that factor of pressing hard and covering it all up, that's fine. It's kind of a personal preference, what works for you. Here I'm going to try one with my finger. It's a little harder to control to get into those little spaces, but I am blending. You blend in just about every kind of art. Look how I can bring that red color up a little bit, and I've got those two kind of mixed together in there. Isn't that pretty? This is going to be beautiful. By coloring it in more, you don't get those little textured lines in between. Can you go back over our uh, pastel a second time? Yes. If you answered yes, you are right. Hey, let's see what happens if we add a really dark color over here. Look at that. All right, so again, I'm kind of balancing my dark to my dark down here. I'm bringing this dark in, coming right up to the edge up in here. Do you like that smoother look or do you like that textured look? It depends on what you're going for. And as we use um, chalk more or pastels more and we maybe make something, look them up online. Look up some other things online. Let's add a green to this one because blue and green or next door neighbors. I like to kind of stick with my next door neighbors on the color wheel. All right, are y'all good? Yeah. Let's pull this this way. Weep. Weep. All right, we're still good. All right. And so I've got this dark green right in here. And I'm coming down in here. I can lay it on its side and get uh, faster you get a little faster in there you can use that q-tip again you can use your finger you could use the paintbrush um, there's all kinds of cool things that you could use in there let's try this one now I'm coming right up to the edge you have to kind of learn to put those two colors together and blend. When you make circularism in your uh, chalk, circle, 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 go round and round and round and round and round and round, you are breaking the tooth of your paper. means it's not going to show up its texture as much. You're smoothing them all in. I really feel like right now I have got a serious mermaid tail happening. I am digging it. Look at that. I could decide not to spread, to blow that off or to click it and click it and tick it. <coughs> uh oh. Don't worry. I have allergies. And did you see the pollen? Ugh. All right. I'm liking this a tremendous amount. I'm going to go up. Oh, wait a minute. I did do that one. But you know what? When I look at it, it looks undone. Sometimes you have to use your hands and kind of cover up the part you haven't done before. And you just kind of say, how is that looking? I'm feeling like this may not have enough. What if I take that same tool and I go right up here? And though it's a little bit lighter, I can go over it again. I do like circularism when I work with um, pastels. How long have we been on? Hmm. I don't know when we started. Again, this was a bonus. I just happened to come in today because I was concerned that I needed to maybe get all of my supplies and haul them home. Um, Mr. Keller said, 
I think they'll let you go up to the studio and continue to do this and we won't have to do it from the house, which is probably a good idea because I don't always have the best internet out at the farm. I mean, not the farm, out in Wahlberg. That's where I live is in Wahlberg. Because let's face it, everybody out there is homeschooling. Shout out to my neighbors who are homeschooling. And, uh, isn't that fun? Look, could, could I do three colors? Absolutely. There is no rules about this particular abstract. Remember, it doesn't have to be anything. It can, but it doesn't have to be anything. That is bold. That is a bold one. All right, push it up a bit, says Joan. I think maybe there. Thank you, Joan. Will you always watch with me so that I can learn how to do this the right way? That would make me happy. I'll see you later from when I drive by and wave at you. Um, that's what we're going to need to go to do now, friends. We're going to have to learn to do this for two weeks. Maybe longer, but let's just set our goal at two weeks. Staying away from each other, just our family. Trying them out. Keyword they're trying. Trying them out. <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. I forgot how much I love pastels. They're a mess when you have a whole bunch. When you have 20 kids in your classroom and you're all using pastels, y'all, you need a N95 mask. Don't let me forget to tell y'all about the mask thing. I got a story. <laughs> it's a good one. I tried to, to uh, make masks. I, can't, I did. Not I tried. I did. I was successful at making a mask last night out of a pair of blue jeans. I put it on YouTube in hyperlapse. Remember I told y'all I was going to do a... Wedding piece in hyperlapse. I didn't do it yet. It's on my list. All right. Do you see how that works? And I've been drawing these lines straight, but what in the world if I did this? <gasps> uh-huh. You make a new color immediately by putting those colors on top of each other. Isn't that magnificent? I colored all this in earlier, and now I can come up in here and blend some more. Blending is when you really can't tell where one part starts and another part stops. A lot of women do this in their hair called ombre. It's beautiful. And they change it from a, one color to another color without you knowing that there's a start and a stop. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look. Can you tell that I'm getting better? You're getting better when we remember these colors, when we practice with these colors. Now, at the very end, I like to use a big marker. And I like to use that big marker and go back over it and really bold up those lines. Now, on occasion, your marker's gonna get full of chalk dust. So you need to pinch it out, wipe it out, get you something to rub it out with. Look at that. This is making it pop giving it more substance. Watch what I'm going to do here. <gasps> Who says you can't draw right in the center? No one. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it is. You know, it's funny because I'm having to be the teacher and the audience at the same time. That's pretty funny. At least my, if I heckle by the audience, I got a problem, right? <laughs> 
I could, you know, I don't want to put any more, I don't think, in this section. I like that. And remember how much I loved this mermaid tail. But I do feel like this one could maybe have something because it could have what artists use often. We call it repetition. Repetition is when you do that same line over and over again. Uh-oh, remember when you think you got to pinch it out. Also, if you have your fan on, your markers are going to dry out. So I've got some repetition going on. I've got organic shapes. Maybe over here somewhere I need to do some more geometric shapes. What if I did this? Not all lines. touch each other and are straight. Maybe there's dotted lines. There's six foot uh, social isolation distance. I think they call it not isolation. Social distance. I don't warn you, you're going to need to wash your hands after this because that's just the way this works. And potentially, you're going to need an extra set of markers. I love these. Aren't they beautiful? This is chalking. This is pastelling. You can do this outside on your driveway uh, with your children. I'm going to post in the comments on some of my uh, things. Where should you look at this? I tell you, here's what I do. I load it to a YouTube and I do mark that it is for children, so it's on it's uh, COPA approved. Some of them I don't because sometimes we will have on Thursdays, my plan is on Thursdays for there to be one that's just for moms down to, oh Lord, come back. It tried to quit on me, but we're back. So on Thursday, it does that sometimes. Um, so we'll just kind of play with this. YouTube, Facebook, um, those are the two places. Also, the next day, so tomorrow, it should look, show up on my website, which is paintwithmekeller.com. And then you can tap the little space bar and go part of the way. And when you're, you know, you can shut me down for a few minutes and catch up or speed ahead whatever it is you need to do hey i'm going to take a regular white i just want to see what happens if i move some whites in here oh look you know friends you just have to play you just have to say wonder what would happen if i'm going to finish this but i told you that i had a um I had a little thing the other night. Oh, look who came to visit. It's Orangey. Orangey, I'm so glad to see you. Social distancing for family members is non-existent. But, yeah, we're social distant from them. We're not going to get what, you know, we're not giving anything we have to them. They're not giving anything they have to us. We're playing the game. We just have to play it, and we can do this, right? Yes, I love you. I love you. And look at your sweet little arms. All right, so I want to show you what I made. Orangey, sit down. Can you wait for me just a minute? Thank you, honey. Okay, so here's what I made. I made some masks the other day. I got all fancy, and I got my sewing machine out. I'm going to turn that so you all can see me. Here we go. I know I'm sweating. It's because it's hot in here. I may have to turn on the air conditioner. They said we were going to get um, 90 degrees. Okay, so I made this little cute thing. Whoop. I followed the CDC instructions. I wear this. If I go to the grocery store, I come home, I put it in the washing machine. If you have glasses, watch how cool this is. <laughs> is that not the best? So it just knocks everything out. 
But then I got to thinking, what if not everybody has a sewing machine and can sew? You know, I can sew a car. I can. It's not safe, but I can sew a car. And I made these for my family. My son, who is a fireman, I um, uh, made some for his girlfriend. And I made some for my mom so that when she is out, I made some with straps. Look at that. Once again, isn't that cute? You just pull it this way. And you do it up here. And you do it back behind here. And... You know, I don't know if this is going to help, but something's better than nothing, right? Well, here is what I did. I have it on hyperlapse, but I got a pair of Mike's jeans, Mr. Keller's jeans, and I cut them off right at the nether regions. <laughs> and so I had two legs, basically, two legs, and he is a, these are old jeans, um, they are 30, I don't know, 30, 34 by 36, that's what it was. And so I took the two legs and I did this. I cut out a patch out of the middle and then I used the side that's really, really strong and I used the side on this side where the seams are and I can put it right up here on the top. And then, you know, I'm saving. If I have something and I need to go get gas, I'm probably going to wear this. And then I can put it right here. I can put that right underneath my glasses again. And I am good to go. Is that not cute? And so you, I didn't have to sew a lick -a doodle I just cut them out. So watch on, uh, one of my YouTubes has it hyperlapsed, and um, so you don't have to sew. They said thick, thick material. Thick material. So I did thick material. This was my first one. This was my prototype. The second one I made, it's in the video, it's like this. It's really pretty much the same thing. I just did a little, little bit better job on it. And look at that. And there it is, and there it is. Now, these are not substitutes for N95. They're not going to save our PPE, personal protection equipment, for our nurses. We just have to not use those. We need somebody else to use those. The people who are in the big middle of all this commotion, okay? The front line. They need them. I don't. Possibly you don't. But if we decide that we want them, and I have been to the grocery store in search of toilet paper because I was one of those people who did not buy toilet paper because I thought, well, why are they buying toilet paper? And so today I swapped someone some toilet paper for art supplies. I did. It's the new currency of um, America. And... Um, so she got some things. By the way, speaking of supplies, there is a box on the back porch at the studio. Don't come all together. Come one person. Get a bag out of there. Try not to dig through them. Just grab one bag. And walk off. And it can be adults. It can be children. Who needs this? People who need to have something in their life to do besides clean another closet. I cannot clean one more closet. I can't so I have to draw and do art or come up with ideas for mask okay I have enjoyed spending a little time with you I have to go pick up I hope some cat food and uh, drop by a friend and wave at her from afar Joan I'm gonna come by and check on you yeah. I know you have family, and they're checking on you, but I love you. I love a whole lot more folks than my, you know, than I can ever list on this thing. Oh, I see Sarah. Yay for Sarah. I thank y'all for watching and hanging out with me. I'm going to close this off. It'll go to the uh, website. It'll stay on my Facebook right now. But it'll go on my website tomorrow morning. I'm going to use... Uh, the capacity here to upload it 
to YouTube, share with a friend, get you some chalk, get you some pastels if you have them. If you've never used pastels, drag them out. If all they have at the store is oil pastels, maybe we should do that. We should. There, it's a whole lot similar. It's like drawing with lipstick. <laughs> you think this is messy? <laughs> and I am hoping for a little bit cooler weather, or maybe some primrose oil or something. I'm sure there's something someone could write to me and tell me what I need. I will talk to you later. Yay for coming. Orangey, come tell everyone bye. Orangey is telling everyone bye. Bye. Oh, he's giving kisses. I'm so glad to see that he's giving kisses. Remember what we did today. Let's turn it so you can see one last time. Oh, my goodness. What does that look like to you? I love it. I love it. Y'all have a great day. Where's the button?